Welcome back to Corsa Workshop everyone. Uh, today is going to be a bit of a different video than usual, it's not going to be a project build, it's going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to replace your FVP sheet in your resin printer. Just recently I noticed uh, while observing one of my paint prints that a piece of the resin which was supposed to be printed on the, on the whole uh, print job got stuck to the FVP sheet. Now typically that means that I either need to clean the FVP sheet, but in this case I'm just going to altogether replace it. The reason was it was a little bit beat up and it was a little bit dinged and I thought it would be a good idea to make a video tutorial out of this. Before we jump into the tutorial you will need to gather a few things, um, mainly this list of tools. You will need an Allen key, I use an LD002R a resin printer by Creality which has thumb screws at the bottom of the resin vat and they require an Allen key to remove them. We will also use a pair of uh, awls or very strong needles to puncture holes in the FVP sheet for the screws to go through. Ideally you could use an X-Acto knife with a very sharp, ideally new blade or a trusty pair of scissors to trim down the FVP sheet. You're also going to need a rubber o-ring if that requires replacement. At the bottom of the van there usually is an o-ring. In my case I couldn't find any, at least not an affordable price here in Mota, so I decided to instead use TPU, which is a thermoplastic polyurethane, it's a flexible printing filament, uh, which was suggested by my good friend Patrick uh, in one of the local 3D printing shops. Finally, you will need some alcohol, uh, isopropyl alcohol, to clean everything. Um, the nature and ethanol will also work just fine. I use both uh, just to keep everything spick and span at the end. So the first order of business is to disassemble your resin fat. I use a Creality LD002R as I mentioned earlier and it has screws at the bottom of the printing vat. Carefully unscrew these using the Allen key or any tool which is required in your case. Uh, make sure to keep all the screws because you will need to use all of them later. With all the screws undone I had a metal plate which I had to remove which cinches the FEP down to the frame. Uh, once I removed that, I carefully removed the FVP sheet and just threw it away. I also removed the remains of the O-ring which had disintegrated over years of use. In preparation for the installation, I gave everything a quick wipe down with the isopropyl alcohol, make sure everything was nice and clean before I could proceed. Now, for that O-ring, um, as I said earlier, I had trouble procuring it locally. So instead, upon the advice of my friend, I used TPU uh, flexible filament. It worked perfectly. All I did is simply uh, cut a short piece of TPU, which is um, about this size, a little bit shorter than the size of my resin vat, and then I fused the two vats together by melting them on a the mountain. Once that was done, I just secured it inside the groove inside the resin vat, and that was it. Next, the whole purpose of actually going through all this trouble, the FVP sheet. Of course, you will need an FVP sheet, they usually come in large rows such as this, but you can also find them sized down to your printer. I cut a piece which was a little bit oversized than my printing vat, that is to allow for trimming later on. Remove the plastic covering from both ends of it and position it in place. With the FVP sheet in place, I put down the metal bar which held it against the frame and I punctured holes into, um, uh, into the FVP sheet using these holes. It is not a crucial step, I'll be honest. You could do this with an exact oil. But I found that an oil is one of the most convenient tools you could use for this operation. This allows the screws to go through the FVP sheet without warping it too much or deforming it too much while trying to cut through it. With those holes ready, I started putting in screws gently. I hand tightened them until they would not go down any further. I did uh, opposite screws, so if I did the top one, Next, I did the bottom one, and I went around the whole frame. Once the whole frame was completely screwed in but not tight, I went around with the Allen key and tightened them again bit by bit, not all in one go, just a little bit um, until they were nice and tight. One of the final steps that you will need to do is to trim the FVP sheet down to size. Now over here I use an X-Acto knife, which is a nice and handy way to do this quickly, but you could also use a pair of scissors. Now all you're looking for here is to trim it just below the, um, the, the surface or the lip of the resin uh, vat that, so that it doesn't interfere with your function of the 3D printer or with the bed leveling process or that sort of thing. So we just want to trim it a little bit less than flush. Once that was done I went around one final time with the Allen key this time really tightening down those screws to make sure that there's a nice tight seal so that the resin doesn't escape. Keep in mind that these screws and this metal bar are all that stand between you and a long day of cleaning resin off your printer. And there you have it fellow makers, all it takes is a little bit of know-how and a little bit of patience. Um, essentially that's all it takes to just replace your FEP sheet on your printer. Uh, for some reason a lot of people think that 
this is a bit of a daunting task, but as you saw, it's quite straightforward. You just need a little bit of patience. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please leave them down below. Uh, you will find links to all my social media pages down in the description. In the meantime, thank you so much for joining me for this tutorial. I hope it was informative for you, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.